good morning good afternoon or evening or whatever time you happen to listen or watch this um all things healing podcast and video as i'm listening to a word this morning i felt convicted i felt like they were talking about me how dare you (laughs) the spirit of detachment okay Mm, the spirit of detachment a lot of us you know in january say we was going to do all these amazing things and here is march and we 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 probably stopped doing those things. <laughs> the spirit of detachment. Let me break this thing down because it was so good. So let me give you the definition of this of the spirit of detachment. It refers to a mindset or an attitude of letting go of an attachment to a material possess on uh, possessions, outcomes, or desires. It involves freeing oneself from the grip of the worthy, the worldly attachments and finding contentment and peace within oneself rather than relying on external circumstances for happiness. This concept is also is often associated with various spiritual and psychological, um, excuse me, philosophical traditions and is and is believed to uh, lead it lead to greater inner freedom and fulfillment. We all have something to detach from some of us can't detach because our feelings are fooling us i didn't feel like sticking to my budget i didn't feel like working out those are mine. let me do i'm just gonna call my own self out we all have something to detach from some of us can't detach because our feelings are fooling us i didn't feel like sticking to my budget i didn't feel like working out so think about all the times you say that that word i don't feel like i don't feel like i don't feel like (laughs) There's so many things we don't do because we don't feel like and our feelings are fooling us. Okay, so I want to give you some some um, tools and techniques to help you to help you. Okay, and help myself as I help you. I help me. (laughs) So I want to um, I want to emphasize that detachment involves letting go of unhealthy attachments while still remaining engaged and compassionate. Okay. I want to um, share that, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, I want to ch- talk about the benefits of practicing, or the benefits of practicing detachment, such as reduced stress, increased inner peace, greater resilience in the face of challenges, okay, and examples of, de- of detachment from daily life, um, this includes stories of individuals who found freedom and happiness by letting go of material possessions or personal desires. So there's some things that, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of athletes, right? You you see them, a lot of people have have huge massive weight loss. Those are those are examples and stories of people who um those are examples of detachment. They detach from their old ways. They they were able to create new habits, new healthier habits, right? They stop letting their feelings fool them. I don't feel like doing this and I don't feel like doing that. Well, if you don't feel like doing those, those things, you're going to continue to get the same results. So um, practical tips, um, cultivating detachment in everyday life, such as um, mindfulness practices, focusing on gratitude, reframing perspectives on success and, and failure. Okay. Self-awareness, self-reflection, um, self um Identify the areas where self where where attachment may be causing suffering or discontent. Uh, I would suggest journaling, meditation as tools for exploring one's relationship with attachment. Okay, compassion. Have compassion. It's important to cultivate compassion and empathy towards yourself and others as part of the journey towards detachment. I want to emphasize that it does not mean cutting off emotions or connections, but rather finding a healthy balance. All right. So we got to find that a healthy balance and know that your feelings will fool you every time. I was I make so many excuses. Yeah, I don't feel like I don't feel like sticking to that budget. I don't feel like walking. I don't feel like working out. I don't feel like going in the store trying to find healthy things. It's so easy to go get a hundred bucks some chips. I don't, I don't feel like drinking the water. I want to drink some soda. I don't feel like just think about how many times our feelings fool us. I want to encourage you to I want to encourage you to start small and gradually incorporate um the detachment practices into your into your, into your daily lives, okay? And I want to offer support and encouragement as we begin this journey cuz I know I'm not on this journey by myself. Y'all don't let me be here by myself. <laughs> Don't let me start this journey by myself because so often we set these, these, 
these sexy goals, right? And we do not maintain those goals. You know why? Because our feelings are fooling us. The spirit of detachment. It is March. Today is March the 14th. January, you say you're going to do so many things. And March, have you been doing those things? Have you been sticking to those goals? Have you created those new habits? Because what I do know, if you do not create those new habits, you're going to fall back to the to the old to the old habits, right? You have to change your self image. The me I be is the me out. The me I see is the me I'll be. Unless I change my self image, if I want to be a person who manages money well, I have to stick to my budget. If I want to be a person who um, weighs 20 or 30 pounds less, I have to stick to a diet. I have to eat healthy. I have to exercise even when I don't feel like it. <laughs> a lot of things we don't do because we don't feel like it. Just It's just, I just, that right there, I just want to sit, I'm going to park right there. A lot of things we don't do because we don't feel like it. Yeah, I don't feel like having that conversation. I don't feel like being bothered. I don't feel like going over there. I don't feel like being uncomfortable. I don't feel like getting up. I don't feel like working out. I don't feel like talking about it. I don't feel like going to bed. I don't feel like resting. I don't feel like forgiving nobody. I don't feel like praying. I don't feel like talking to God. I don't feel like going to church. I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like going over there. I don't feel like going. I don't, it's so many things that we don't do because we don't feel like it. Let me say it again slower. There's so many things we don't do because we don't feel like. I want to say it with an attitude. <laughs> There's so many things we don't do because we don't feel like it. I don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like doing it. And then your face be all, I don't feel like doing it. Because you don't say, I don't feel like it. <laughs> no, you're going to say it with attitude because you mean it. I don't feel like it. It's time to start feeling like it. Okay. Don't let your feelings fool you because you're going to keep starting over and over and over and over and over and over again until you change those ways. So you change those habits. The me I be, the me I see is the me I'll be until I change my self image. It all starts with us. Nobody's stopping us like us. <laughs> the biggest enemy is the inner me. I'm in my own way. I'm the reason why I have not been losing the weight. I'm the reason why I have not been sticking to the budget. I'm the reason why I have not been exercising. Nobody else. Take accountability. Don't beat yourself up now. But take accountability. Nevertheless, take accountability of where you are. Because if you want to do something different, you, it all starts with you. I shared a post this morning. And I'm so glad the person asked me what I meant by that. Because I had another one that I posted earlier this week. To go along with that. So I was like, oh, okay. Because a lot of times we hear the we hear this we hear this right here. We hear um do the work. Yeah, you gotta do the work. So the the quote I posted was the magic you're looking for is in the work you are avoiding. The magic you're looking for is in the work you are avoiding. So the person asked me, What's the work? The work is letting feelings have a voice and be heard, examining beliefs and values and habits. Addressing unhealed past pain and trauma, um, noticing unhelpful behaviors and defenses um, which no longer serving you, creating creating and setting clear boundaries and paying attention to what energizes energizes and drains you. That's doing the work. We have to do the work because you can't get mad at results you're not getting from the work that you're not doing. That's a slap and a hug. I'm sorry. You can't get mad at results you're not getting from the work that you're not doing. I'm talking to myself. I'm slapping and hugging myself too. Okay, so we in this together. You can't get mad at results you're not getting from the work you're not doing. The spirit of detachment. We all have something to detach. We all have something to detach from. Some of us can't detach because our feelings are fooling us. I don't feel like it. 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 It's fooling you. It's fooling you and it's keeping you stuck. And the only person who can get you unstuck is you. I'm done. Think about it. You got some homework to do. This is self, this is self-imposed homework. You figure out what that homework is. I know what mine is. Y'all have an amazing day.